Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camping. Tactical Nut here. And today we're here to talk about the belly band holster from Warble. So let's just get into it. So right now, to start off with, let's show you what it comes in. A nice little package like this. It says pride in self and service in nation. Um, in this, and it is obviously see-through on both sides. So if you're not storing it in here for whatever reason, you can actually use it to store other things. Got your little American flag right here. Does come with your keychain. This says War Bowl on it. There you go on that side. Uh, Tactical Gear Solutions. I uh, already have one of these from a different review that I did. Um, and in full disclosure, uh, I did review a two point sling for them and they liked my review so they reached out again and asked if I would be interested in reviewing this belly band holster and since I really liked the quality of the product before I jumped right on it because I could always use one of these now I'll kind of give you a run around first um, we'll start with this end right here you do have a zipper pocket um, so this is very easy if you're someone like me I keep a min I use a minimalist wallet, so it fits absolutely perfect for uh, something that size. Uh, obviously, you could put smaller things in it, maybe some chapstick or something like that if you didn't want to keep your wallet. Uh, this is a good place to keep a small wallet or just cash, cards, stuff like that, just in case uh, you're in an area where crime might be a little higher, you might be a little more susceptible. This way, people can't pick your pocket and grab your wallet. Uh, next, you have a strap right here which you can use to keep a spare magazine um, and I'll get to that one in just a second you do have an ambidextrous spot for your holster with a snap right here um, so right now obviously I'm right-handed so I carry it right-handed but you can also do the other and don't weigh the gun is cleared and safe uh, so also you have another pocket here you could which you could also put a spare magazine So if you're left-handed um, I also or just here to show you could also put a flashlight and or pocket knife or both um, So I went with the Benchmade bug out just because of its thinner size lightweight um, as well as the Warsun T7 flashlight because as you can see how thin and it's very lightweight too so this way you don't have to keep it in your pockets depending on what you're doing uh, you have a strap or pocket right here that you could use to put your phone now I have the Samsung 23 s 23 ultra um, with a case on it so that's gonna make it a little bit larger and it's kind of a big phone but as you can see it will fit a phone that size so if you got one that size or smaller uh, you're good to go um, and it's very tight fitting in there so you're gonna get a very secure fit a uh, large amount of velcro so if you wanted to put something smaller in there you absolutely can then you have now this is more of a dedicated magazine pouch um, you could also use it to put a more round flashlight in uh, a multi-tool something like that so that was all good to go for that then of course you have your Velcro waistband and a good, oops, let me hold this like this, mesh backing to help whisk away your sweat and any moisture. Um, so of course with any holster like this, you're probably, and if you're wearing it on a regular basis, especially here in the south where it gets really hot, you're gonna sweat. Um, I would just hand wash this just to be the most safe. Uh, and then of course, to keep it from smelling like sweat. Uh, just to give you a perspective, what I'm carrying in here is the Hellcat by Springfield Armory. So you see how thin this is, right? But just so you will see, oh, I do have, uh, my only critique is I didn't see, um, what do you call it? An option for um, being able to carry this with a light on it. Uh, so in the future, if they were going to make a uh, different version, that would be very cool to see because I do like carrying uh, flashlights on my carry pistols. Um, just because, one, 
you can use that to blind someone so that you actually don't have to use your firearm and it gives you a chance to get away or at least it makes them second guess what they're doing uh, but more importantly um, it's just to identify a target right because that's extremely important as well uh, next so this is the Canik TP9 SC Elite so as you can see it will fit it as well as long and a spare double stack magazine to go with it now why does somebody want a belly band holster what is the ideal usage for it um, this is perfect for people who like to conceal carry um, but also maybe not be dressed uh, with a outfit that has a belt um, so this is perfect for that just because it doesn't require a belt so if you're headed to the gym you have on swim trunks you know gym shorts stuff like that this you can wrap around yourself it's gonna stay put and it does really good at concealing um, now I'm gonna stop the camera so I can put this on because got to take my pants down some and you don't want to see that uh, when I get back to you I'll show the concealability of first the uh, Hellcat which is a you know very thin firearm and then of course with the canic so get right back to you okay guys so this is one of the reasons why i like this type of holster so much if you're a guy of my build a lot of times it can be pretty difficult to find an appendix carry head, uh, holster that doesn't print very much but as you can see here i've got it on so as you can see I'll walk up a little closer i do let this ride a little low uh, that's just a personal preference that's so my pants can help uh, keep the grip of the firearm more secure toward my body you can wear your shorts a little bit lower or your pants whichever um, to expose it a little more give you a little bit quicker accent or access um, so just depends that's going to be your personal preference and what you decide to do you can carry it at the four o'clock as well if you wanted to or the three o'clock this is just my preferred method of carry just because it is quicker. Um, it is more comfortable depending on what you're doing. Um, and it's also because if you're walking around a store and stuff like that, you do have to change the way you do things if you're carrying it at four o'clock. Because if you go to bend over, a lot of times your pistol is going to print. Uh, so you're learning to squat down to get things on bottom shelves or pick something up. But this way, I mean, you can't even hardly see it, right? Now, if your pants are a little bit looser, a little more ideal to carry right here because this is going to be a little bit slower um, just because just in particular these type of shorts are just a little more snug um, but I just wanted to show you the non-printing of this at all like it's really impressed me so much so let me grab the other one step off camera because I got it all right so I had the canic in so now this is about the width of a Glock 19 just a little bit shorter uh, so closer towards your Glock 26 um, but as you can see hands up hands down whichever way you're going it's a lot still conceals this extremely well and as you can see I do have to move my shorts down a little bit just because of the width of the gun but you're still getting pretty cook pretty cook pretty good and quick access now the only Complaints I have about this, and once again, if they did a redesign for one that can hold a light, um, that would be awesome. But this one, the strap snaps over top of the back of the firearm. Now, most holsters I've used in the past, they would snap like this so that when you put your hand in, you're disengaging the snap. So this is just a training thing. You're just gonna have to reach behind it and pull your thumb up and grip like that um, just because of where that snap is located uh, I think that could be a very quick and easy fix for the company because you're literally just only adjusting the snap on one piece right you don't have to do both of them so as it goes like it's a little bit slower but I still like the accessibility where it is and that's just a training issue with enough practice um, this just becomes easier and easier and depending on what you're wearing which I'm going to show you a different style of shorts so stand by all right so as you can see here I just have on like gym shorts 
right? So still have the canic end, which is a little bit wider, right? So if I keep this over here, it helps prevent that uh, grip from printing. And then of course, since these are looser, you're gonna get faster access. Sorry about the catch up on the shirt. Um, once again, I think, you know, this is just gonna come down to practicing with it on a regular basis so that you are comfortable and quick at accessing your firearm. But with the Hellcat, show you this one as well. Obviously, it's much thinner, so it's going to pretty much almost not print at all, even though the Canic was a lot thicker and concealed extremely well. Smaller ones like this are always going to help. And then of course, depending on what you're carrying. Or, so if you wanted it at the three o'clock, you could, a little more likely to print some, but then, and of course, as you can see, you can adjust these <laughs> without even taking them off, which is awesome. So give you a look right there. So these are just, I mean, it just provides a lot of extra options for carrying and concealing your firearm, which are absolutely awesome. I mean, it's made from a very high quality nylon. Like I said in the beginning, oops, sticking to me. But another thing I would need to point out uh, that I think is really cool and really important to know about this, and that would be these two right here. If you wanted to remove these and switch them in uh, order, they literally just Velcro right on. Um, if you didn't want to carry them at all and just go more minimal because you don't have a uh, phone that you want to put in there or um, anything of that size that you were wanting to keep. Uh, if you didn't want to carry this extra mag carrier or flashlight holder, however you wanted to use it, and you wanted to go more minimal, now you just have this setup right here, which is incredibly awesome. Because, I mean, if you're dressed like I am right now, more than likely you're not gonna wanna be carrying a whole bunch of extra stuff, but you could, and if you want to, you got the options. So, very impressed. I mean, these things only run like 20 bucks on Amazon. So the price is awesome. Um, of course, if you have Prime, you can get it really quick. And like I said, you got multiple options of carrying multiple things, all very concealable and extremely comfortable. Okay guys, hopefully this will help you in your purchasing decisions of finding a great belly band concealed carry holster. Definitely check out Warbull. They're completely worth it. I highly recommend it. And if you like this kind of content guys, just hit that like, share, subscribe button, you know, do all the things. Definitely share the video if you know, if you know somebody who might be interested in a holster like this and can get a lot of use of it. Um, all of those really help the channel. They really help me get uh, more items to test and review for you so I can keep bringing uh, these reviews so you can see how they work before you buy um, and to you know, know whether it would suit you or not. All right, guys, in the meantime, be prepared, have fun, check out Warble.